Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, 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 welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be easier, okay? So obviously it looked different. Um, from the last time I uploaded to now, I've lost about 110 pounds. I started my journey of weight loss kind of unexpectedly. Back in August, I had gone to my five year high school reunion. Since I graduated high school at that time, back in August, I had gained a lot of weight. I was always somebody who was heavy set, but I had really let myself go. I was almost 300 pounds. Last time I weighed myself 290 pounds before I started my journey. I was really nervous for how my classmates would view me. I decided to wear makeup just because it made me feel confident at the time. I remember not having anything to wear and I had to have my friend go to TJ Maxx and buy me a pack of white t-shirts. I think at that time I was wearing extra extra large, which is crazy to think. And a printed shirt. I put it on, didn't feel confident at all. I was getting super, super antsy and super, super nervous, so I decided to take some shots. I remember just feeling so insecure about how my classmates would view me. I remember feeling very anxious before arriving to the nightclub. I remember getting to the reunion and no one gave a shit of what I looked like. Everyone said, oh my god, you look amazing. Oh my god, your makeup's so beautiful. No one commented. Everyone was super nice, super cordial super sweet. I had some really nice interactions. I had the time of my life. It was so, so fun. And that's when I realized all of that anxiety, all of that self-hatred, all of that care about my weight didn't matter to anybody but myself. That night kind of motivated me to lose weight. And I think the reason why is because I realized that everything that I was feeling, all the anxiety that I had leading up to the event, all the anxiety that I had about what people would view me as, um, what people would see when they saw me after I gained so much weight. I'm sure they noticed, but none of them said anything. A lot of them just treated me like a regular person. Obviously, like, duh, weight isn't everything. You should treat everybody as equals. But as a big person, you always kind of feel like people are just looking at your weight. There's no way to kind of like have them just look at your personality. So that's why I just got so anxious about it every single time that I would have to go in public or I would have to kind of like show my body in any way. I sat myself down and I was like, okay, so if no one actually cares about whether you're big or not, they just care that you're happy and you want to be happy and healthy because at that point I wasn't, I was very, very unhealthy. I was eating fast food every day. I was drinking soda every day. Like, and I was not exercising, so like the weight just kept going on and going on and going on and going on. And there was no end in sight. So I decided to kind of portion control out my meals and just take it step by step. And because I was so big and I completely just cut out like sugary drinks and soda altogether, I did see a lot of the weight come off in the first couple of months. So I would say in the first month I probably lost 30 pounds just from like changing my eating habits. And whenever you're losing weight, I feel like the thing that keeps you going is seeing the, the number on the scale go down. So that was my biggest motivator, but I wanted more. And I realized that obviously to lose weight, you have to be at a caloric deficit. I wanted to lose weight more quickly, more rapidly. I wanted to keep going. I wanted to basically build on this momentum. And at the time, my friend Caesar, who you guys have never met before, but I'll insert some pictures of us here. Um, he had gotten gastric sleep surgery and he was losing weight a lot so I attribute a lot of my weight loss to him because we're always in competition with one another, playful competition but competition nonetheless. So we would always kind of play back and forth about like keeping each other on track. I realized to lose the weight I had to be at a caloric deficit and in my mind if I ate 200 calories I had to burn 200 calories. I was finding myself exercising a lot. This is when I started doing home workouts. I had gotten an Apple Watch, I was tracking my calories, and I would make sure to burn off everything that I ate, and then some. Which, looking back at it now, is not healthy. Don't do that. Your body just can't sustain to live like that because you're basically getting no nutrients to your body at all, and I'm dealing with the repercussions of that to this day. I literally, my hair is thinning. Um, it's grew back now, but there was a moment, I'll insert a couple pictures, where I was just losing it left and right. My body was completely out of whack, but I didn't care. And looking back at it now, I'm glad, not glad that I did it, I'm glad that's in the past because I am finding myself having the courage to eat a little bit more. So because I got so used to exercising everything that I ate, the moment I started to give myself cheat days or give myself cheat meals, 
and incorporate those cheat meals, I started to feel guilty. The thing with me and food is when I was bigger, I never thought about what I ate, I just ate it. I'm proud of myself for losing 110 pounds, but I'm not. I feel as though I had to give up a lot in order to do so. I'm having a hard time formulating my sentences because I've never actually said this out loud, at least to a camera or just a larger audience other than some of my friends that I've confided in. Um, and I just don't want people to look at me differently because of it and think that in order to get the result that I did, you have to go down this path. But I developed an eating disorder. I still have an eating disorder. The moment I realized that I was going about this the wrong way was when I gave myself or I allowed myself to go and get Chipotle. And for those of you who don't know, I love Chipotle. And what I used to get would be a chicken quesadilla with extra cheese and um, a chicken bowl with extra cheese. I'm somebody that loves cheese. Obviously that sounds like a lot of food and it is a lot of food, but I would consume it um, throughout the day for the most part. I would mainly get this dish when I would have drag race nights with my friends on Fridays and there would be nights on Fridays where I would allow myself while I was losing weight to get this meal and I remember distinctly um, I was helping out my sister with um, her job, she's a nanny and I wanted to get Chipotle so I decided to get my chicken quesadilla with extra cheese and my Chipotle bowl and I was watching um, I think at the time was the Shane documentaries, the Shane and Jeffree Star documentaries, and I was just entertained and I ate everything. I remember feeling so full, like I normally do, but also there was a different type of emotion that I felt that I didn't used to feel before, and that was guilt. And that guilt started eating away at me because I started to look at the numbers. I was obsessed with numbers. I was obsessed with the number on my Apple Watch, um, I was obsessed with the scale, I was obsessed with progress, and that was the first time that I made myself throw up. And it happened three or four times after that. Um, it wasn't until the third time that I told somebody about it, and they told me that I'm so much more than just a number on a scale, and that I'm beautiful at any weight. I remember, this is actually Marissa, so Marissa, if you're watching this, I love you. Someone told me that I'm so much more than just my physical appearance. I think of how I treat people, how I act, how I talk. I was good about not throwing up until this past month or these past two weeks. The coronavirus has forced us to stay in our own homes and I'm a creature of habit. I'm somebody who has their routine and I'm not somebody who breaks from routine and when the coronavirus basically made it so that I was out of work and I love who I work with, I love what I do um, obviously it's retail so it has its pros and cons, but it truly is my happy place and I miss it every day. I didn't think I was going to miss work as much as I do, especially considering I'm not at the stage in my life where I feel successful or I feel like I've done all that I needed to do. I'm still so young and I still want to accomplish so much. The break in that routine has basically put me in like a weird mindset. The fact that I have to stay home, and I know obviously we're doing this for noble reasons, we don't want the, the virus to spread. And just, I think the whole thing with being forced to stay home and being forced to be with yourself and have moments where you have to reflect and I find myself bored and binge eating and then that having to trigger me, um, especially because I never want to go back to that place that I was. I never want to go back to being 300 plus pounds. I never want to go back to being fat. I never want to go back to the way I looked. I look back at old pictures now and I am disgusted. I know that's something I need to work on. I don't recognize the person that I see in old pictures and old videos. And it's kind of put my mental headspace at kind of like a funk. I remember when I was out of a job, depressed. The only thing that I would do that would make me happy is create looks and create um, content for you guys here on YouTube. And I remember loving the way that I looked. But now looking back, I am disgusted in anything that I was portraying. That's a little hard of a pill to swallow because at that point in time, I felt confident. And now I'm 110 pounds less. And I'm having to build that confidence in a moment where it would make sense for me to be the most confident I've ever been in my life. And obviously there's Instagram and there's likes and there's posting pictures and manipulating what you look like and obviously I look physically better but I'm having to struggle with what I eat. Anything that I eat I think about anything that I do I'm thinking about weight. I don't want it to ruin my life. I don't want it to consume my life 
and with everything going on in the world, I'm having to face that reality head on and not having the resources and the tools to do so and being far away from my work family, being far away from my friends because I can't see them and my support system has been really hard but I feel like I need to kind of just vent and put it all out there. The only way I know to do so is to kind of put it out there to kind of hold myself accountable so I can look back and realize that I'm more than just a number, I'm more than just weight and I'm more than just my eating disorder. I am going to seek help for this because I know that this is not going to be a battle that I'm going to be able to do on my own. I'm so thankful for the support system that I do have, for the friends that do stick by me, and for the friends that are there whenever I'm talking their ear off about me feeling guilty for something that I'm eating. And I apologize for that because it's like annoying to hear. I feel like I'm like Katie Heron talking about Regina George. I don't know how I'm going to end this video other than I just want to create content. I want to show people that I just needed to get it out there, I needed to kind of tell my story and I know that most people will understand um, and I know some people are probably thinking like, oh my god, you're skinny, why do you fucking care? So why you have a fucking eating disorder? But in me putting it out there on the internet, people are gonna judge me. I hope that some good comes from this. I hope I revisit this and I'm a healthier, happy person. I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, I hope this made sense. I don't know what else to say other than just thank you for supporting me. Thank you for dealing with my absences. Thank you for listening. Whether this reaches my family or friends or this reaches a larger audience, I don't care. I'm just happy that I put it out there. Don't forget to subscribe down to my channel. And until next time, bye guys.